Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, I will be reviewing 10 different products from In Love Arts shop online. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing this because the first time around, I really enjoyed all of the products that I got. So I agreed to do it again. And this time around, I've chosen all different products, of course. So we will go through all of them one by one. There's 10 and they will be listed down in the description box below in order that I'm mentioning them. So if you want to purchase something, you can follow the link. There's also a link for 30% off for new customers as well. So you be sure to use that link too. And if even if you're not planning on purchasing anything, please stick around. I promise you will feel inspired. You will go into your own little stash and use your dies and use your stickers and and all of the little bits and pieces we'll be talking about. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first product that I've got is this little booklet of clear pockets with stickers inside. There's eight individual little pockets with these stickers. So, and then I'll just flip through so you can see what they sort of look like. And you can see here, the, the stickers are almost kind of like vellum, sort of type stickers these ones not these last two little labels and such so they're kind of like see-through little stickers so i'll just show you what i've done with them i actually ordered two uh, two of these because i really liked this idea so much i just love this they so such beautiful little stickers and so what i did and the way that i used them is i was using up some scrap pieces of paper from a previous project so, you know, I just was keeping all of these scraps of uh, excess paper that I had. I usually keep it in a pile and then I make little things with it. So I was making these little booklets and, you know, inking the edges and stuff like that. And then on the end piece, I put a little bit of this baking paper. And I really love the sound and the feel of this paper. And then one of those stickers uh, right on the top. So because the baking paper is see-through, and the sticker also is see-through. I think it just such it gives such a beautiful effect. Like this one, for example, you can see through the sticker to the layers of paper underneath. I think it just looks beautiful. Okay, next up, let's talk about this vintage frame decor stamp. I am so excited about this, and I'll show you why in a moment, because there's just so much we can do with the stamp. This is just a stamp. You can see it's on its little acrylic um, little piece down here which I just mounted with double-sided tape onto this thick cardboard just so it's there uh, all right so I had a play with it and I was just stamping away on some paper I was using some stencils I'll show you later just stamping away and I thought oh this looks so cool like little journaling spots and things like that it's just beautiful and then I thought I'm actually working on a journal at the moment, a journal that's going to go into this, uh, like a loaded bag type of thing. It's work in progress. So this, it's a very simple journal. This has been my journal. I'm working on the cover and I was thinking, what can I use on the cover? So I came up with an idea yesterday. This will be my cover. I want to show you something so cool with just one stamp, right? So what I did is I stamped, as you see here, onto some, this is actually some cardstock. And then I sewed it onto some burlap. So already that's looking cool. I don't like this little one sticking up that way. Okay, so I really like that. And then I thought maybe I can have that on my journal, but obviously I need to decorate it. So I pulled out a couple of things from my stash and I was just playing around and I think this will be my cover. So I'm using some little rosettes here, something like that. And then that doesn't look finished. So then I grabbed another little piece of something so I can have it maybe something like that. And then it's already looking great. And then maybe another little piece of something else, a little die cut like this. And then we can do any little sentiment. I found this one with love. I can do anything really. This was a project we did just the other day. So maybe let's see one of these pre-stamped images. Maybe something like that. I don't know which one I like better. This one or this one? I don't know. I think I like this one better. But yeah, so it's just 
you know there's just so many ways we can use the stamps I'm gonna come up with some more like even let's see if we're making a tiny tiny little booklet and we can use up our scraps of paper have a little something here tuck it into a pocket you know and I don't know there's so many things we can do with this but I really like this idea of using it on a cover and doing a little collage all right moving on moving right along so here we've got a flower embossing folder so I'll show you what I did with this we'll come back to these ones so I simply embossed on some scrapbook paper again these were just off cuts just to demonstrate guys when I say off cuts I have a full folder of you know extra pieces of paper that I'm saving for something I don't know what I don't want to throw it out like even little pieces like this I'm trying not to be ridiculous and save everything but I can't help myself so when I say off cuts I really mean it like I do have a lot of these lying around and then so a simple little piece of paper put through the embossing folder it looks amazing and there are lots of tutorials on YouTube where you don't even have to have a uh, an actual embossing machine you can use one of those rolling pins to get the same effect or similar effect look at that beautiful and then I did some on uh, this is tea dyed watercolor paper so watercolor paper tea dyes beautifully and you can see like there's all different effects on it and I just put it all through with the embossing folder and this one I actually inked a little bit over the top and that just looks beautiful as little journaling cards or putting it into pockets and things like that and again like little booklets like this you know beautiful with tea dyed paper inside like a little mini journals you know with a closure it's just you don't have to do anything else to the cover the cover is done basically with just the embossing folder and then what I did is I have these little envelopes and I actually think I like the white better than the the ones that I've inked I purchased these envelopes well I got these envelopes from witchcraft you do and it's perfect size the little envelopes and I just put them through the embossing folder and the good thing is if you guys use the embossing folders and embossing machines you know that sometimes they can cut through your paper now these envelopes they're quite they're not you know extremely thick it's not great you know extremely great quality they are quite thin envelopes and they did not cut anywhere so perfect and I think they look look at this like for a wedding or something oh my goodness that's what I keep thinking of so and I think next time what I'll do is I will tea dye the envelopes first and then I'll put it through this embossing folder this one here I just inked after embossing so you can see that I just went over it with my little inking tool just very lightly to get those raised bits right and then I also ink the edges and stuff like that it looks great show you the back it looks so much better in person than it does on camera which is really a shame because it's not really coming through but I think I think you can sort of see okay next is this curve bag handle die it's called so the way that we can do this that's the die I put it through using my scraps again put it through my die cutting machine and you end up with something like this absolutely gorgeous so the way that you know what we can do with it we can do lots with it but let's say for example like a little tag topper even though this tag is too you know you want you might want to have a wider tag or even let's see what that's going to look like this better look good wow i actually really 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 love that oh that's gorgeous and then you just glue it down and which ones maybe that should be the front something like this and glue it all the way down something like this oops i mean this this is the little handle that goes up how cool that looks pretty pretty cool so that's one idea what else can we do here was here's another one so this is what it's really for I think but so uh, this is a little baggie right and then this can be like a little and put down there we go gorgeous and especially imagine if this was 
a different color like something that stands out a bit more maybe white and then the way that it can be closed down if you don't want to glue it down which probably not a good idea to glue it down because then you can't get it off but maybe use something like that have a little dangly on there have a little bead on there or something like that I think that looks really really cool so lots of little things we can do with that one go back on I'm gonna glue this down later I'm actually really liking really liking this next up I want to show you this little flower envelope die so I'll just show you what I've done with it and I think I really like the tea dyed paper the most so basically that's what it looks like exactly the same as you know that shape and then you just close it or you can you know apply some glue there and close it and that's it you have this beautiful little envelope maybe let's put a little center there a little bit of bling never hurt no one right glue that on right there in the middle very cute so I think I like the one uh, this is just tea dyed paper I think I like this one the best look at that it just looks so beautiful so 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 beautiful maybe I can clip it in in my journal let's see wow that looks totally cool but it doesn't really make sense because it's an envelope it could be like a little secret spot a little secret spot right there or even because this is a pocket I don't want to close it so maybe I can do yeah for now anyway I'll come back to it and put something a secret little message in there why not next I've got this lace envelope dies or die and this is what this looks like absolutely beautiful look at that and what I found is that the less busy the paper the better look you have so I'll just show you what I mean when you turn it around see what, what I mean like you can't really see the beauty as much as you you can when you have less patterned paper up the top so they're like little envelope little pockets so I thought I just made a couple really quickly so look at this see what I mean busy pattern as opposed to just one color and then white underneath even when you compare these two I think in my opinion this one looks better than this one here because it's got a busy pattern underneath but I just wanted to show you what it will actually look like when it's when we put something in there so pulling out my journal again I thought maybe I can use this one and glue it down here and then I went a little bit crazy and I was tea dyeing photo sheets is that what they're called you'll see what I mean like they were you know I got them at a, at a second hand shop so I was trying to tea dye them to see what happened I'm not entirely overly excited about the result but here we go so I just trimmed it down a little bit to put it into this pocket let's see how it's gonna look that looks quite nice I think and then I'm just going to glue it right on there ta-da I really really like it and this looks like a candle that looks like a candle to me yeah and that's like a little flame burning up there all right let's move on to the next one next thing I got is this stencil so this is the layering uh, layering creative graffiti hollow stencils so let's see we've got a stencil and then of course we can use it with our molding paste and stuff like that or we can use it to transform a really you know boring dull piece of paper into something slightly a bit more beautiful I like to do this in a lot of my journals look at that beautiful and then maybe we can do some you know up the top let's go I think that looks good so any type of stencil I use a lot of stencils in my journals and I also got this stencil as well so I think that will look beautiful on journals on tags and things like that and I do want to try and use molding paste I'll just show you when I was making this journal here I used the stencil so this is molding paste 
I use a stencil over the top so you know using something like that something like this on covers with molding paste looks beautiful you know stencils you can never have too many or you can you can actually have too many don't go and get crazy buying stencils really to be honest you need just a few you know and then and then slowly grow your collection all right let's move on next up we have these small layering tag dies great for using up scraps again so what they look like is you get something like this and then you can layer them like that tie something up the top you know and you get this beautiful beautiful effect uh, even this on its own the thing that I was seeing first up is a great little book plate or a label for your journals and things like that so if you just punch another hole here put some brads through and there you go you have a label a book label and then this can just be used as a little embellishment on a, on a page for example it's main I think the idea is for it to be used like this as a tag and then you can write a little message under there and then this can be moved to the side but I always love things that can be utilized in a few different ways okay second last is this one here it's called mini cloud shape cover hollow bag dies okay so this is what it looks like and basically you have see these two little grooves so it's like um, like a little spine in this little bag so and then it folds over like this so in terms of using it in journals we can't really use it like this because it will get squashed so we can improvise and use it in different ways but on the website in love arts there are images of some beautiful creations that you can use that you can do with this what I was inclined to do when I first was looking at it is this is almost perfect for a cover for a little mini journal the only thing I don't like about it is that the flap is going over to the bottom because I would think that this would be my front cover of my journal and then I could have like a little sequence or something in there but then the cover kind of it doesn't make sense we always think of the cover coming you know this being the right way up the flap going this way so I would need to apply a little bit more thinking to that of course another thing we can do is just in order to put it in our journals and have a clipped in there like that with something in there is we can just make our own little crease like that and flatten it out so it can be flat I guess like that so so let's just see I'm thinking maybe even something like a we can do something like this this is my pre-made little stamped image that I have I did a video on it just the other day maybe something like that you know it's obviously too high here so I would have to cut it so glue that in and then it can be a little something you know clipped onto into the journal and then it opens up and if it's not pattern paper on the inside it can be a journaling spot a message or you know something like that that's the way because we are I am a journal maker I'm always thinking of how I can use it for inside a journal but from the photos I can see on the website you know they look really amazing filled with little buttons and sequins and all that sort of stuff and the last thing I ordered is this acrylic block and I really wanted an acrylic block especially for my stamp which is not from In Love Arts I actually got it at a, sh at a show a craft show so I can't really tell your shop but it's this little postcard stamp right and I just mounted it onto this block so it's there permanently when I say permanently I mean it's mounted on with double-sided tape so I can take it off anytime I want but I like to have it on there um, but then as you've seen when I was showing you this stamp you can mount it on um, if you have really thick cardstock like this so but then when you're stamping you have to make sure that you're not bending down so when I'm stamping I just kind of put it down and then I'm pressing on the edges like this so that I don't press in the middle and get maybe some ink that I have on there onto my image so a block like this perfect and these are designed so that you can stick your stamps onto it and then stamp away and then take it off but I wanted this stamp to have a permanent home so I just mounted it on there and that's the purpose that I bought this acrylic block for 
let me know guys down below what is your favorite product out of these I think mine is this stamp just because it's just uh, I'm loving this cover so you know we can do a lot with just the one stamp and even just these little journaling spots my second favorite would be this embossing folder such beautiful texture absolutely beautiful my third favorite would be these little stickers these little vellum sort of type stickers love 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 I'm so glad that I ordered two and then it goes on from there so those are my top three favorite products let me know what yours are check out all of the links down below if you want to make any purchases everything is down below in the description box if you have any questions please ask me thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video bye